you will be using Hadoop version 1.2.1 for the installation. Let us understand the 12-step process that is required to successfully set up Hadoop in the Ubuntu server 12.04 LTS. First, you need to install the SSH server. The second step is to create a passwordless login in SSH. The third step is to install Java 6 or a newer version. This is because Hadoop Framework requires Java 6 or a newer version of Java to perform its tasks. The fourth step is to download and install Hadoop. The fifth step is to extract the Hadoop tar file. The sixth step is to copy the tar file to the location mentioned on the screen. The seventh step is to open and set the .bash rc file and add the required paths. The eighth step is to open and set the hadoop-env.sh script. The ninth step is to open and set the core-site.xml file. The tenth step is to open and set the mapred-site.xml file. The eleventh step is to create a folder named tmp and provide access rights to the user by changing the ownership of the same. The last step is to start Hadoop services. Starting from the next screen, we will discuss the commands that are used to perform these steps. To install Hadoop, you need to have a VM installed with the Ubuntu Server 12.04 LTS operating system. You also need high-speed internet access to update the operating system and download the Hadoop files to the machine. In the next screen, we will discuss the steps to install Hadoop. As mentioned earlier, the first step of Hadoop installation is to install the SSH server. The installation is done via the Internet, so ensure that the VM is connected to the Internet from this step till the end of the installation. To install the SSH server, type the command displayed on the screen and press Enter. In the next screen, we will focus on the second step of Hadoop installation. Hadoop services generally require admin privileges to run on a Linux-based system. Therefore, you need to set up a passwordless login that will enable Hadoop services to run in an admin mode. To set up the passwordless login, you need to initially create an SSH key using the command displayed by the first image. Once you enter this command, you will be asked some questions. You need to press Enter, irrespective of the type of question asked. Once this is done, an RSA key gets generated. The next step is to accept the RSA key as the authorized key. To do so, use the command displayed by the second image and press Enter. You will observe that the RSA key generated is the authorized key. In the next screen, we will focus on the third step, that is, we will understand how to install Java. Hadoop requires Java 6 or newer versions of Java. In this step, you will learn to install Java 7. The command to install Java 7 is given on the screen. This command requires you to have Internet access. In the next screen, we will focus on how to download the Hadoop package. You will be able to download Hadoop version 1.2.1 from the URL mentioned on the screen. Use the wget command mentioned on the screen to download the Hadoop package. The download process will start. In the next screen, we will continue to discuss Hadoop installation. Once the tar file is downloaded, the files need to be extracted from it. This is done by using the command shown on the screen. In the next screen, we will continue to discuss Hadoop installation. In this step, the extracted data is copied to the location mentioned on the screen. This can be done by using the command displayed by the image. In the next screen, we will learn how to set .bashrc by adding the Hadoop paths. Use the command displayed by the first image to open bashrc. Once BASHRC opens, scroll down to the end of the file 
and type two lines highlighted in the second image. Next, you should save the file. In the next screen, we will focus on how to refresh the bash prompt. Once changes are performed in the BASHRC file, the bash prompt has to be updated. Use the command exec bash and press enter to do this. The bash prompt will get updated automatically. In the next screen, we will find out how to set up the Hadoop environment. The Hadoop environment can be set up by opening hadoop-env.sh, which resides in the directory mentioned on the screen. The command to open hadoop-env.sh is displayed by the image. In the next screen, we will focus on the command lines to be modified in hadoop-env.sh. Uncomment the Java underscore home line and set the Java path. In the next screen, we will focus on the next setting to be performed in hadoop-env.sh. Uncomment the command line mentioned on the screen and set it as shown in the image. In the next screen, we will set the core-site.xml. Open the core-site.xml file in the VI editor using the command shown in the image. This XML file is used to set the Hadoop Distributed File System, or HDFS path, in the Hadoop environment. In the next screen, we will discuss how to set the configuration in this file. You need to set the configuration as shown on the screen. The first parameter is fs.default.name. It is used to set the access path for HDFS. The second parameter is hadoop.tmp.dir, which is used to set the default TMP directory where HDFS is installed. In the next screen, we will focus on how to set mapred-site.xml file. Open the mapred-site.xml file using the command shown on the screen. This XML file is used to define the MapReduce settings in the Hadoop environment. In the next screen, we will discuss how to make changes in the XML file. This screen shows the settings that need to be added to the Hadoop configuration. The parameter mapred.job.tracker signifies the location of the job tracker in the Hadoop setup. In the next screen, we will continue with Hadoop installation. The next step in Hadoop installation is to create a temporary directory named TMP. This can be done by using the command shown in the first image. Once the directory is created, permissions are assigned by changing the ownership of the directory. This can be done by using the commands shown in the second and third images, where SL000 is the username of Ubuntu Server. In the next screen, we will find out how to verify the Hadoop framework by starting Hadoop services. Initially, you can view the services that are running in Java. To do this, use the command JPS, that is, the Java process. The command to start all the services of Hadoop is start-all.sh. This command will ensure that Hadoop services start in the standard order, that is, name node, data node, secondary name node, job tracker, and task tracker. In the next screen, we will discuss how to find out whether the Hadoop services are active. Type JPS and ensure that all five services are running. The five services are name node, data node, secondary name node, job tracker, and task tracker. This setup is called sudo distributed mode as all the services are running in different Java virtual machines or JVMs, but on the same machine. Hey, want to become an expert in big data? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in big data, click here.